Hey, so today we are going to talk about few sampling methods. We will start with random sampling. As the name suggests, it's random, so you choose people who participate in your research randomly. Another option is stratified sampling. The researcher divides the population into separate groups called strata, and then a random selection of the group is made. For example, dividing people into men and women before making random selection. We also have multi-level sampling. In multi-level sampling, selection is done in two or more stages. For example, we want to do a research about lifestyle of university students. Instead of randomly selecting few students from all universities, what we do is, first we randomly select few universities. And of those universities, we randomly select few departments. And of those departments, few classes, and so on and so forth. So far, we have been talking about random selection. But you can also choose select sampling methods. One of the known methods is convenient sampling. So you basically choose participants who are easily obtainable. It could be your family, your colleague, your friends, uh, your neighbors, etc. Another method is snowball sampling. In this method, the existing study objects recruit other study objects. So for example, you are a study subject and you recruit your friends to participate in the research and they recruit their friends and so on and so on. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.